Welcome back to another video. So in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to do day to night and this is a very well used method in the filmmaking industry. My name is Thomas Gelder. So this is a method used when you don't have the time or the budget to be shooting at night or the equipment. So what you want to do is just get your shot during the day and then in post you're going to make it look like it's night time. Enough of the talking, more of the action, let's get into the editing suite and see how you do it. So once you've got your footage in the editing suite, what you want to do is straight away create an adjustment layer and you're going to use this adjustment layer to key out the sky. We want to keep the detail in the sky and we want to make it gradient as well key around the sky as you would anything that's black in the frame you can just key over because it's not going to affect it that much so let's just say a street lamp for my example so now we've got that sorted <laughs> what we want to do is go on to color and we just want to bring the exposure down oops so as you can see I haven't inverted it, so please make sure you invert your mask before doing this, like I just didn't do. Uh, bring this down, the exposure. Now you don't want it too much, just because it's going to look off. And then what else you want to do is bring the highlights down. So you want to bring them down just like halfway, I'd say. So you want to keep the details in the sky. Again, with the whites, just bring it up a tad bit, just, just keeps it a little bit more detailed. Let's bring the shadows down just a tad. Same with the blacks. And what you want to do here, on the mask, make sure you feather it so it blends in, as you can see. And then bring the mask expansion in, down a little bit, it's like minus, just so it fits a little bit better into the building. So now, <coughs> go on to your footage. And you want to do the same again. So you want to bring the exposure down, Around about minus 1.8. Bring the highlights down almost to the bottom. So you want to bring it to about minus 80. Bring the contrast up to around 15. Bring the shadows down to around minus 15. It's very subtle changes, you don't want to make it too dark. And then what else you want to do is bring the blacks down to around minus 25 to minus 30. Bring down the shadows a tad bit more to around minus 30. With the whites, again, you want to bring this up a tad just to keep the details. So bring it to around 10. Now, you can either mess with the temperature and make it blue. But for me, I think it's a bit too blue. So I like to bring it around minus 41 and bring the magenta in a tad. I'd say 5 to 10. Anything more, it gets a bit too much. And then you're going to come on your curves. And you're going to go on the red tab, bring it down. Just to, just to highlight or the whites area to the first box here and you're going to do the same again with the greens cool and now we've got that nighttime look but what I want to do is I just want to make it blend a little bit better so I'm going to bring the darks down in the curves and just bring the whites up a tad Go back onto your adjustment layer where the sky is and just feather that a little bit more because as you can see at the edges it doesn't blend too well so you just want to make sure that's seamless and you can't really tell and it's also creating that nice gradient look in the sky as well the more you feather it again bring the mask expansion a bit down now let's just say you want to have a window on so you want a light on what you want to do is you want to Duplicate the actual footage, so at the bottom layer. Get rid of all the effects you can see, or that you've done. And what you want to do is just key around one or two of the windows. For this example, I'm just going to do one, but you can do as many windows as you like. Already looks pretty decent because the way it's shot, I think it was shot at sunset. This is actually not my footage, I got this free stock footage off a YouTube channel, which I will also link in the description. You want to make this more orange because you want it to be nighttime, so this is going to be actual used as a light. Lighting from inside a building or a house is usually orange, 
so you're just going to bring that fairly up and you're just going to bring the saturation down a tad just to make it blend in a little bit better again bring the shadows down because I think it's a bit overpowering same with the blacks and just bring the whites up a tad and also bring the contrast up so once you're happy with that you want to go and make another adjustment layer now this is going to be used as the moonlight and also to create the spill from the window so what you want to type in on the effects is lighting effects drag it onto there and as you can see we've already got spotlight so this is actually creating the moonlight look so what you want to do here is just move where you want the moonlight to be so let's just say it's coming from this corner obviously it's way intense so what you want to do here is just mess around with the toggles here Bring the major radius 25 to 28. Bring the minor radius to 25. Bring the intensity down to around 15. It's a bit too much. And that just creates that nice little moon glare coming from the corner. And now what we're gonna do is with light two is go on Omni, if that's how you pronounce it. And this just creates an oval look to your image. And with this, you want it to be way smaller and you want it to be centered where the window is so there again bring that intensity down to 15 and you want to bring the color to a orange and that just creates that nice realistic spill coming from the window also with the moonlight if you want to it doesn't have to be white I've kept it a little bit white, but you can make it more teal because that's the kind of moonlight look. You don't want it blue because I think it's not accurate. I think moonlight gives you that little bit of a teal look. So if you want to bring it down to around teal, and then you get that moonshine. And if I turn these off and on, you can really see the effect it's having. Thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate you all and I appreciate your support so much. I'm almost on 1,100 subscribers and that to me is like mind blowing so I appreciate that so, 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 so much. If you like this video, please make sure you like and also comment what you'd like to see next and I'll see you all next time. Peace.